Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we'll be looking at the shortcut to differentiating exponential functions. But before then, let's look, let's treat an example, one more example on differentiation of exponential functions. So if I have that y is equal to exponential, something very easy, I'll take um, x squared, for instance, I'm asked to differentiate this. What do you do? We say let u be equal to x squared. Differentiating u with respect to x, I'll have that the u over the x is equal to 2x. Next up, I'll have that y is equal to exponential x squared, we said it's u, becomes exponential u such that dy over du is now equal to exponential u. So if I use chain rule, um, using chain rule, I have that um, dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. That's now equal to dy over du is equal to exponential u times du over dx is equal to 2x. This now gives you this and this. 2x exponential u, right? But that's now equal to 2x exponential u. What's u there? u is equal to x squared. We're having 2x exponential x squared as my answer. Okay, so if I'm having this now, is there a shorter method of solving this? Yes, there is. What's the shortcut to differentiation of exponential functions? Now, here's what to do, please. If I'm to differentiate exponential function um, in a very fast way, what do I do? Um, what you do is this. You pick out the index, differentiate the index, and attach to the question. All right, that's a shortcut. Um, your shortcut is this. Uh, pick out index, pick out index, differentiate index, and attach to the function. All right, that's all, please. So pick out the index, differentiate the index and attach the function. If I'm given y as being equal to exponential x squared, my index here is x squared. If I differentiate x squared, I guess what there? I get 2x. So simply attach this to the function. I'll have that dy all over dx is equal to 2x exponential x squared. And that's the answer I had here, right? 2x exponential x squared. So it's very simple. Pick out the index, differentiate the index, and attach it to the function. That becomes your shortcut to differentiation using exponential functions. Look at other examples um, with my shortcut method. All right, so if y is equal to exponential 4x cubed, minus 9. From here, I have that dy over dx is equal to, pick out the index. The index here is 4x cubed minus 9. Differentiate 4x cubed minus 9. I have 12x squared. Hence, pick out this one here. Becomes 12x squared. Attach this to the function exponential 4x cubed minus 9. That's the answer. Also, if I have that y is equal to exponential 6x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3. My index here is 6x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3. If I differentiate this, it gives you what here? 18x squared plus 14x minus 3 is a constant, gives you 0, so it's off. So I'll have that 
the y all over the x is now equal to 18x squared plus 14x. Alright, so to take off this man, so I'm having this. Please observe that for this case now, I'll have to use a bracket. So all of this as the differential of this into exponential exponential what i have here um 6x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3. so i have this as my answer of the differentiation so i have this one here into exponential this so that's your shortcut